Welcome to The Lift. All this week we're talking about James chapter 3 and how we can be rooted by our calling in our life as well as the words that we say. And today we're going to be focusing on what James chapter 3 has to say about the tongue. Now, I remember when my younger brother, we were much, much smaller and he would not be able to speak in a way that anyone would be able to understand. And what I mean by that is he had a very bad speech impediment. And so he would, he would be talking to people and they would have to look at me, he would have to whisper into my ear and I would have to translate for him. And the problem was he had a piece of skin growing on his tongue that had to go in and get clipped. It's a very common procedure, but he could not control his tongue. He couldn't control the sounds that his mouth was making. And in James chapter 3, James kind of talks to all of us in the same way. He says the tongue is a horrible thing. And we wouldn't usually think of it as that. The tongue helps us to speak, it helps us to eat. And we wouldn't usually think of the tongue as a horrible thing. But he says the tongue is a small piece of your body, but it is set on fire by hell itself. He says we can, we can make a horse go wherever we want when we put just a small bit in its mouth and we can pull that giant horse by this small little thing. And we can, make, we can make a ship go wherever we want just by placing a small rudder down in the water, but the tongue is uncontrollable. Then he goes on to talk to us about the different words that we say. But let's talk for just a minute about the tongue being uncontrollable. Just this week at my job, I was speaking to some of my coworkers, and they were saying how crazy I am sometimes. And they're like, Stu, some of the things that you talk about are just obscene. And that, that kind of insulted me a little bit because I try to keep my speech very clean. And I looked at them and I said, what do you mean? I, I don't ever, I don't curse at you. I don't swear at you. And they said, no, but some of the things you talk about are just crazy. But isn't that our first thought that, oh, as long as I'm not cussing, as long as I'm not directly insulting someone then everything that I say is okay but what we need to remember is that whatever comes of, out of our mouths needs to be useful and it needs to be building others up and is that how every single word that comes out of your mouth is when James says that the tongue is uncontrollable that's what he's talking about does every single word that comes out of your mouth is it of benefit to someone so he says the tongue is completely uncontrollable. You can't hold it down. You can't control it completely. He, sa he even says that if you could control your tongue completely, that you would be perfect in every single way. But we have trouble with that. But then he goes on to even explain what bad speech might even mean. He says, with, on one day you might praise God, and then later you curse people who are made in His image. And think of how backwards that is. If you're saying, God, you are so great, and then you look at someone who God has said is made in his image, and you insult that person, aren't you insulting God? And so you have praised God and insulted God all in the same day with the same mouth. And that doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. And then he goes on to describe it even further. He says, does, does a tree produce one kind of fruit or can it just pick whatever kind of fruit it wants? And I would ask you the same question. Would, would a tree that grows oranges, is it able to just grow apples the next day? And that's not the case. And what he's saying is, if your mouth is used for praising God, use it only for praising God. Don't use it to praise and insult God all in the same mouth. That's silly. And if you can control your speech, if you can use your speech to build other people up and to praise God, then we can show this world where we are rooted. And if we can show this world where we are rooted, then maybe they will then become more and more rooted where we are. And they can see more and more that once we become rooted, our faith will grow and we will flourish and we will see what life is really all about. So this week, the challenge is use your speech to build other people up. Use your speech to praise God only. Don't let two things come out of the same mouth. And if you do that, you'll be able to show those around you where you are truly rooted. This is The Lift. Hey everybody, this is Matt Smith here for your fitness tip of the day. Today's tip is a rear delt fly. This exercise is really good for hitting those... Uh, the problem area that people have uh, getting the rear delt. 
Uh, what you're going to do is just grab two cables and cross them over. Keep your arms straight and then pinch it in the back. Again, this is Matt Smith. Remember, strength is more than muscles. This is the lift.